All right, boys, and we need to get cracking. This is the Christian Hound Harbor. This is, I guess, in a way where it started, how I got here, what my reason was to work at this restaurant in that building, and I'm still here. The challenge is how can we have our cuisine come out with nuances and inspiration from culture of myself and my team. But then when people see it in front of them or taste it, they can feel it's of Copenhagen, that it's from here, that it's from this region. So that is the challenge and that is our goal. All right, boys, Hi. you can get started, man. We need to get cracking. We got a, we got a big Sunday. Norwegian scallops from our dear friend Roderick near the Arctic Circle. The provisions are so exciting because, you know, there is a slight kind of influence of the Chinese or the Vietnamese cooking and those Asian or Eastern cuisines have a lot to deal with the condiments or these kind of sauces or pastes. We want to be very about local and that's hard with those ingredients. We're just going to remove the abductor muscle and the skirts and then we'll clean it up afterwards to get the row separated nicely. In this application, we just wanted to brush it on the scallop. And again, it's a balance of not too much that we lose the flavor of the hand dive scallop, uh, but just enough to kind of add flavor. With the Elixir 01, with the fava beans, it has this bright acidity that comes through and we almost see it as almost like a finished ponzu, you know, but we don't need to add citrus. We don't need to cook it down. It's just straight delicious. So tasting it, it was fantastic. There was a more depth and there was more complexity. You can't just call that a, a shoyu or you can't a soy sauce or, you know, we call it Elixir 01 because there's a significant difference between that one and the second one, and they all have these different nuances and flavors. I think they're very exciting with high quality, interesting products like this. I think for sure I would use it at home and I love using it here. You know, there's no one that's like, oh, but this isn't Cantonese or this isn't uh, authentic, you know, that hasn't come up. And I guess maybe it's because everything is delicious or there's no need for that. It seems like it's working and it seems like it's no need to kind of further explain myself as a chef. Being worried with how the guests react isn't necessary all the time. I think it's better just put it out there and see how they respond. What you guys develop at Empirical, you know, what the technique of using the koji, I find that amazing that you can't put a name on it. You know, each bottle is referencing what the ingredient or the process behind it, and that's what it is. You can't really put it side by side to something. Kind of creating your own new way of flavoring and I find that really inspiring and I find there is a connection to what we're trying to do here.